All right. Everybody knows this brand, right? You cannot not recognize these shoes. Mine are just over five years old. We're going to do a long-term review. These are the Merrill Yokotas, the first version, long-term review. Let's go. Okay guys, welcome to the Gear Dungeon. It's been a long time coming. After the Rucking series, a lot of you guys asked me what type of shoes I hike in, best shoes for rucking, best shoes for whatever shenanigans you're doing out in the woods. Guys, it's all personal preference. I cannot tell you what you should put on your feet to be comfortable or safe in the woods. That's just how it is. All I can do is tell you what I can recommend based on my own personal preferences and experiences. So with that being said, my go-to shoes always for at least 10 years have been Merrell's. Now, these are only five years old. They have definitely seen their fair share of abuse. One of the dogs got a hold of that one, but these have held up fine. And look, the only thing I've had to do on these is replace the shoe strings with 550 cord. Not because I think I'm gonna be bushcrafting and surviving and stuff with 15 feet of paracord but just because it's what i had around and i didn't want to buy laces otherwise these things are basically indestructible so five years at least at least a thousand miles per year every year so we're talking about at least at a bare minimum guys and if you follow me for a while you know i'm freaking out there humping it all the damn time so at a bare minimum, 5,000 miles put on these freaking boots. And at the time, they cost the same that they cost today. I think last time I looked, these cost 79 bucks. So, freaking outstanding, man. Okay, so personal preference here, guys. I got onto Merrell's for like 2012 or something like that when I got my first pair of Moabs, the first generation. And I still have that first generation up at my cabin in the mountains. By the way, those are also outstanding. They're a little more expensive. So if you've always wondered what's the difference between the Moabs and the Yukotas, well, I'm gonna cover that. You've gotta stand by though. So for me personally, my favorite thing about the Merrells is that they are tough and rugged with a pretty good grip while also being fairly light. Also compared to your standard army boots that I'm used to coming in with the black leather style, it's kind of like a suede leather with this mesh mixed in around there. So it's very breathable. Some of you guys remember that I am always against the Gore-Tex or waterproof versions because there are no freaking waterproof shoes that also breathe. It doesn't happen guys. You need to look up vapors and permeability. And I'm telling you, if you have waterproof shoes, your feet are not breathing and your feet will still get wet. But guess what? It's just gonna take the shoes much longer to dry out after that. My favorite thing about these shoes are the foot box, okay? The wide foot box. Merrill got it right. At least for me, with my funky feet, nobody has gotten it right. If you have not tried these shoes and you are looking for wide toe box, maybe high arch feet with good support, toughness, ruggedness, all that stuff, Check them out, man. A lot of people are pushing these like $300 pairs of boots right now. And I, if you wanna do that, go ahead. I'm always a cheap and practical guy. And yeah, I'm gonna stick to these. There is one shoe company that is made in America, by the way, and they do have some pretty good prices and some pretty good boots. So I am testing some of those right now. I will be ready for a year long review coming up within the next couple months. So stick around and you will find out about those. If you scroll down, both of those Merrell types are on my Amazon affiliate store. That does not mean I want you guys to go buy those right now. Definitely don't go buy shoes right now just because I'm saying they're good. The whole point of that is if, if you were in the market to get new shoes and you are interested in those, you can go through my link and it will help me out. That's it. I'm not telling you to buy them. I don't give a crap if you buy them at all. But if you wanna help a dude out, there you go. So be looking for that Yokota and Moab comparison. The problem is they're out at my cabin, 7,000 miles from here. 
So I'm gonna have to get over there and put them in my hand and show them to you guys. If that video is already out, it's gonna be linked up here. Go check it out. And until then, you guys know what to do. Like and subscribe. Until the next video, I will see you guys in the outdoors. Take care of yourselves. Oh, and prepare yourself. Don't be that guy. Out.